Welcome to Morning Prayer. If you're joining us for the first time, a special warm welcome to you. And if you'd like to follow the, uh, the liturgy for this uh, service, if you just click on the link in the description below. So we just have a moment of uh, quiet before we come into the Lord's presence. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. And a prayer of thanksgiving. I'm just going to read down to verse 7. O come, let us sing to the Lord, let us heartily rejoice in the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving, and be glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the depth of the earth, and the heights of the mountains there is also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have moulded the dry land. Come, let us worship and bow down and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The psalm today is Psalm 54, and it's I put written here, standing tall in times of adversity. And the refrain is, Behold, God is my helper. Save me, O God, by your name, and vindicate me by your power. Hear my prayer, O God, give heed to the words of my mouth. For strangers have risen up against me, and the ruthless seek me after my life. They have not set God before them. Behold, God is my helper. It is the Lord who upholds my life. Behold, God is my helper. May evil rebound on those who lie in wait for me. Destroy them in your faithfulness. An offering of a free heart will I give you, and praise your name, O Lord, for it is gracious. For he has delivered me out of my troubles, and my eye has seen the downfall of my enemies. Behold, God is my helper. O living God, reach through the violence of the proud and the despair of the weak to create in Jesus Christ a people free to praise your holy name now and forever. Amen. The Bible reading is uh, from Acts again and it's following on uh, from what we've been reading all this week. So it's Acts chapter 2, beginning at verse 37. And if you remember from earlier in the week, this is Peter talking to the Jews uh, in Jerusalem. And uh, it must have been, it must have, you know, spent quite a while talking to them. And really, uh, it begins by saying about Jesus being, the, you know, the promised Messiah and that he died. Uh, for our sins he, w he was actually pre preaching the gospel that uh, uh, Jesus had died was buried and had risen again on the third day and he had been seen by many people and so he's following on from this and that's why it begins with these words when the people heard this they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and the other apostles brother brothers what shall we do Peter replied, Repent and be baptised, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins. 
and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The promise is for you and your children, for all who are far off, for all whom the Lord our God will call. With many other words he warned them, and he pleaded with them, Save yourselves from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted his message were baptised, and about 3,000 were added to their number that day. 3,000, can you imagine that? He spoke to the crowds, and they were that impacted by what he said. 3,000 were converted to be baptised and to repent. And the fellowship of the believers, this is the early church, they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to the fellowship, to the breaking of bread and to prayer. Everyone was filled with awe and many wonders and miraculous signs were done by the apostles. All the believers were together and had everything in common. Selling their possessions and goods they gave to anyone as they had need. Every day they continued to meet together in the temple courts. They broke bread in their homes and ate together with glad and sincere hearts, praising God and enjoying the favour of all the people. And the Lord added to their number daily those who were being saved. That wonderful, marvellous, O oh Lord, that it would happen today. Yeah. Anyway, the reflection on that, Brother Samuel. So Peter had uh, preached the core message to them. They'd repented and believed 3,000 in one day. So this is what uh, Brother Samuel has to say. Peter's proclamation, like any good sermon, doesn't just give those who hear it a warm and comfortable feeling, but raises the question of what to do about it. How true that is, you know. Yeah. What's the appropriate response to the good news of all that God has done in Jesus Christ? Peter's reply is unambiguous. Repentance a radical change of life and baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. That is uh, a sharing in his life, death and resurrection. No small challenge. The amazing thing is that so many take it up. That was then. That was then. It's sometimes suggested that the picture painted here of this first congregation of believers in Jerusalem is somewhat idolised. Were they really all so full of zeal and enthusiasm? Surely some of them must have dropped out before long. However, whether it's overgilded or not, we are, in these verses, given an example of the basic actions of the life of discipleship. They were together, following Christ is not an individual pursuit of holiness, but involves sharing the journey with others and caring for those in need. They spent much time together in the temple. Daily praise and prayer are the heartbeat of Christian living. And they broke bread, participation in the Lord's Supper, the Eucharist, Holy Communion, the Mass, whatever we like to call it, keeps us connected to the source of our calling, the one who was crucified, who was raised to life, and through whom the Spirit is poured out. Praise and prayer are the heartbeat of our living as Christians. Praise and prayer. We praise you, Lord. We praise you for who you are, the Alpha and the Omega. And we pray to you, Father. Thank you for that. Uh, I'm going to say the Gospel Canticle now. Song of Zechariah. On the birth of his son, uh, John the Baptist, which was a prophecy.
your people knowledge of salvation, O God, by the forgiveness of all their sins. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of all to save us from the hands of our enemies. To show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham. To set us free from the hands of our enemies. Free to worship him without fear. Holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. A new child shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you go before the Lord to prepare his way. To give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. And the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high, shall break upon us. To shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death. And to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Give your people knowledge of salvation, O God, by the forgiveness of all their sins. So we come to our time of prayer. Uh, today I'm not going to read anything or try not to say too much. What I am going to say, I'm going to say to Jesus Christ, our Lord. Yeah, Father, forgive us for our sins, the times that we turn away from you, the times we get distracted by the ways of these, this world, Lord. Help us to just have you central to our lives. We know, Father, that if we put our trust in you, we do not need to worry, to be anxious about anything. So help me, Father, help us, Father, to come to you with all our anxieties, our worries, whether it be situations we find ourselves in or those we love and care for situations they find themselves in Lord in your mercy hear our prayer help us Father to Remind us by the power of your Holy Spirit that it's not about us, Lord. It's not about us. It's about you. Help us, Lord, to come to you at all times. We praise you for who you are, Father. We praise you, the Alpha, the Omega the beginning and the end, who was and is and is to come. Father God, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for this, your world, Lord, at this time of great change and upheaval. We see it on our television screens, how the world is changing at such a rapid pace, the environment, the wars that are going on both, and those that are visible and the invisible wars, Lord, the spiritual wars that go on, in and around us all the time. Help us, Lord, to just keep focused on you through it all. Help us have that core message of the gospel, 
that Jesus Christ was alive, died, was buried, and on the third day he came again. And he will come again to judge the living and the dead. Lord, have mercy on us all. Lord, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And all the people said, Amen. Amen. So the collect for today, Friday, 14th of August. Almighty God, who sent your Holy Spirit to be the light and life of your church, open our hearts to the riches of your grace, that we may bring forth the fruit of the Spirit in love and joy and peace, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So we bring all our prayers together and we pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, Father. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation. Help us not to be distracted. But deliver us from all evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours. Forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil. And keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you everyone for joining with me.